Hi teachers, in this video we're going to walk through setting up Storyboard That by creating individual accounts. So if you are interested in a classroom account for Storyboard That, unfortunately there is a cost for that and joining Storyboard That classroom accounts automatically kick all of your students into the classroom accounts and begin a trial which you can't get out of when you are done. If you use the free version of Storyboard That and create individual accounts, you get the following things. Um, lots and lots of illustrations, pretty much anything you can need, two storyboards per week, the option of three and six cell storyboards. You are limited to the size of the storyboard, but I find that six cells is quite a bit for students to put content in. It's the classic layout, single user account, watermark downloads, and basic print options. So we're going to go ahead and just create a free account. We are going to skip over the four teachers because that then requires you to um, set up and purchase a teacher account and kicks in the free trial, which when the free trial ends, you can't revert back to the free account. So we're going to go ahead and click log in here. This is what students would need to do if they have not ever used Storyboard That. So they click login and the very first time they're going to select register and then click on Google. You would also do this as a teacher your first time through. Once they register, they select their email address. It will populate their account. It will offer you to buy or you can simply ignore that message and go ahead and begin creating a storyboard. Notice that the username is a unique username to storyboard that. You don't really have control over that. So we're gonna click to create a storyboard Noticing that currently I have three cells. If I want more cells down here at the bottom, I have where I can choose different layouts. I'm on traditional storyboard. That's pretty much what I get. I do have the option to have a cell only title with a cell cell with a description or title cell description. A lot of times the students, I tended to use title cell description so that we could put a topic for the cell at the top any image and illustration here, and then they could give me further information below. All of these other storyboard layout options, these are not available with the free version. The only option you have is the traditional storyboard. So if you need to add or delete cells, keep in mind that you can do up to six cells. It does work in rows and columns, so it needs to be a little bit more balanced. Now I have six cells here. I can drag images. I can customize pretty much everything about the image. I can rotate it. I have lots and lots of different current day images, but then I also have a lot of historical options as well. So you get into some medieval, colonial, Western government, Egyptian and generic. There are US history specific backgrounds. So you'll notice that I have um, some different Native American backgrounds, ships. And then as I go forward, we jump forward in time, Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, and our current governmental buildings here. Country and rustic and so on. Under characters, you have lots and lots of characters, including characters that are grouped by different eras. If I add a character into, I can customize pretty much everything about the character, including colors. I can custom choose colors here, and then I can add different rotation, layers, edit, and I can also edit the pose. So here you can change the expression, change the movements, of the individual, you can make them sit, you can make them stand, I can update the pose, I can rotate them. In textables, you'll find all of your speech bubbles and more. Shapes are shapes, infographics are your infographic shapes. 
web and wireframe, science, if you want to create worksheet things. And then you can also upload images. Please keep in mind it says do not upload images of photo, photos of children under 13, adult or offensive images or copyrighted material. So you do need to keep this statement in mind if you are looking with working with uploading images. Additionally, students can search and they will find even more options when they search here. Let's say they wanted to incorporate a whale. They can see what options might be available to them here. Once they have completed it, the real big thing for students is to remember that they need to click save to their save their storyboard and keeping in mind that you get free two free storyboards per week that doesn't mean you can't go back and continually edit the same storyboards um, if we want to name this i'm just going to call this test i can give it a further description and hit save please keep in mind that if students don't save their storyboard it might not um, show up when they are finished with it. Now, when students finish, they do have some limited options on sharing the storyboard. One of the suggested ways to share is to download the storyboard. You can download it as a PDF, and then you can upload that PDF to Google Classroom. Okay, keep in mind that the images will have watermarks when you download. Students can do it that way, or they can select print. They can choose how they want their storyboard to print. They can print storyboard only or storyboard and text. Usually I had them print storyboard only, and you'll notice that it will show the storyboard. I can hit print. I can print to a PDF, or I can even print to Google Drive. So this may be suggested for students if you are wanting them to then upload their storyboard back to Google Classroom, if they click Save to Google Drive, then when they save that image to Google Drive, they will be able to go into Google Classroom and locate that image in their Google Drive and upload it to Google Classroom. So those are a couple of options for saving. I am not sure if you delete the storyboard, if you still get another storyboard that week, I believe you only get to start two per week. When students are finished, they can click sign out. After they have logged in once or done the register, all they need to do is click login and then select Google. They'll never need to click the register again. That is only for the very first time into the account. And you can see before I close out of this recording, here is my storyboard PDF where I actually get the whole storyboard and then it gives me slide by slide. Now I do have watermarks across my storyboard, but for the purpose of this and creating an assignment, students would be able to share and showcase their content.